the question was, how did we get to know each other? Yeah. And how did we come to uh, make a show together? Right. Yeah, well, we met each other in art school. I'd known Fran's husband and Fran's daughter at the university, and so I was really curious to see who the mom of this really quite splendid student was, who's <laughs> over there in the picture there with one of the grandchildren. The first one? First, first grandchild. Right, right. Yeah, first right. Grandchild, yeah. And we finally met when we were at the Victoria College of Art, and we ended up in the same class in the same year, mm -hmm. and so we graduated in the same incredible flurry of presentation, because they gave us 20 minutes to set up while the other person was being examined for 20 minutes in one room, and then that had to come down and the next person had to go in, so we were running right, around right, in right. circles that day, weren't we? Mm -hmm. So we, we managed to graduate, we get all it all graduated, hung. Right. <laughs> yeah, but right. then after we graduated, we did what you're supposed to do, and that's we pulled together a group of artists to critique each other's work over time. It didn't happen immediately, Right? Yeah. It was well, gradual. I wasn't part of it immediately. It, it started first, Agnes, Agnes and Anachuk suggested it. So. Mm -hmm. so there are five of us in the group, and we meet every month religiously. Yeah. Right? And we've met every yeah. month for 10 years, yeah. or thereabouts. And, and we, just, we truly critique each other's work, right? Yeah. Sometimes we have mm, sensitivities. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes we say, Ah, it's finished, you know. But and we do totally, totally different things most of the time. All five um, of us. All five yeah. of us, yeah. But the one sort of thing that connects Fran's work and mine is that we keep recurring to doing bodies, right? Dancers or sport. Fran does sports people. I have it on occasion, and mm -hmm. and then the. Th you know, there are other things that connect across the five, so that there's always two that sort of do the same kind of thing at yeah. any given time. Yeah. And I think everybody brings that a different sort of perspective. We spend a lot of time suggesting that a person might turn their canvas, you know, upside down and then give it another turn. <laughs> it, we really do, and it yeah, really we helps. Do. We yeah. do, yeah. a lot of the time, yeah. Uh, with my figures, it doesn't help that much. It doesn't much. work so well with your figures, but it works yeah. really well with some of yeah. the others. And, uh, you need a bit of red down there, or you need yeah. a bit more dark green up in this corner, or yeah. is that finished? You know, and we don't so, always accept these, no. these suggestions. Sometimes yeah. we go home and do what we're told, and sometimes we don't. <laughs> but we meet every all the time. And so a year ago, when there was about to be no, not quite a year, I suppose. The call for was. the call for um, shows here is is in January, I think, isn't it, or something? Anyway, we decided that it'd be fun to put in a a, a show about bodies, and. Our original thought was that it would be a lot more varied in media than it is now. That we would have drawings and we would have, I would have some paintings and Fran might have, not prints perhaps, but drawings nice. and I might have some drawings and, and so on. So that we could sort of trace the ways in which we presented bodies and, and, and been interested in them um, over the last 10 years. But it didn't. It sort of worked out like that, but not not quite. I mean, as you can well, see, we only have only prints and paintings. Yeah. And there's only so much wall space yeah. too. But we do have a historical look at what we've done. So we can, actually, I can learn from it too. Yeah. You know what I figured? I figured I didn't really change that much. Uh -huh. Like the impulse for doing art is still exactly the same. And you know, like you add th things like more collage or. More different techniques, but uh -huh. you're, yeah. I might have hoped or might have thought I would change more. Yes, I'm not sure I have either, really, in the prints. I mean, the one over there that pulled that wall together with Fran's one in a frame, which was what made it work, is, is one I made 10 years ago, right? And the character in the top right hand corner there is actually flipped over him with a three-quarter turn in the print next to him that I made three weeks ago. Because <laughs> I have favorite cutouts, favorite people that I go and play with when I'm making prints, right? So although we go through texture changes and color changes and mood, I guess. Exactly. It's a little bit, mood. a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I always like, I think I like off on the same mood which you've heard about before. Like I like I like power and beauty in terms of visual, but I like I like vulnerability and 
intensity of expression. But looking at Fran's work, me looking at her work, it seems to me that she gives herself more and more challenge with ever more complex poses, you know? That the difficulty of putting the two figures together is, I know, maybe I'm inventing that, but it seems to me that it's, it's more difficult now, that you choose things that are harder to do, because you're better at it. I think I do that in terms <laughs> more of the surface than the subject. Like, I change my surface all the time, and that makes it harder sometimes, or, or more fun. No, I Whereas was thinking you, of the choreography, yeah. the way yeah. you wrap the people round. Yeah. And, you know, you used to have, they used to have feet, whereas these ones don't, because the intensity is in the upper body. You know, things like that that are complicated, like difficult that. to do. Yeah. yeah. Well, everybody sees one thing is difficult right. and another, yeah. Well, yeah, I couldn't do those. Yeah, yeah. Can't do Prince. And someday I will, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd like to. Mm -mm. Well, it enables, uh, I mean, when I do dances, I can, I can put a whole lot more onto a page than Fran is prepared to put onto a canvas because it's the, it's the gesture that interests me more than the actual face and the emotion, whereas Fran is really into, into the expression, the, the facial expression and the, and the intensity of the emotion. And, and I'm more into the sense of motion, which the shadows in the prints will give me and so on. But basically, we're telling, in this particular show, we're telling a very similar story. Yeah, and that's why it sits together well, even though the techniques are, are so different, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, I was thinking, I like crowds, too. Yeah. It's just, I haven't been doing crowds lately. But I, but, but the reason I like doing crowds then was because there's people I really love, like Delacroix and Giotto and, and people like that, and they do crowds, so they give me ideas. So I like to work from analogy. And so, and also, Sometimes something happens in the news that's really moving. And so, for instance, that's what I did with the hockey one. Yeah. It, it's a crowd scene, but it's based on something really real, like uh, it was Brochure when he was hit uh, back in 2000. Uh, and, ho on, and, and hockey violence is still really in today, so that's why I included it today in the rec that it, But um, And to me, it's about the hockey's like a religion in Canada, a lot of sports are. So I chose Giotto as a, his Lamentation of Christ as a sort of a bit of a satire, yeah. But that was fun. I did a lot of that at the very end of my school. I could still, and you know what it does? It teaches you so much about composition. That's, that's what I, I think that was one of my main reasons, yeah. besides loving them so much, you know. You learn from them, yeah.